Hey, I'm Jess and I want to ask you a question. Have you ever contemplated on the story of the prodigal son? Starting our fourth week in our Lenten journey, we want to look at this famous parable from Luke 15 a little deeper. Let's try and find out what message our Lord Christ was trying to portray when he told this parable. At the beginning of Luke 15, our Lord Christ is addressing the Pharisees who are questioning why he kept company with sinners, tax collectors and even women who at that point in history were still not well regarded. He began to tell them three stories, the parable of the lost sheep, the lost coin, and finally the parable of the lost son. The similar message we can find in all three is that God not only forgives anyone who returns to him, but he seeks out those who are lost. This particular story rotates around two brothers and their love that their father gives to them. The younger one who chose to take his share of his father's inheritance early, spent his inheritance recklessly, chasing the pleasures of the world. When his money ran out, he found himself with no food, reduced to living on a farm with pigs. He feels pathetic, struggling to even find food to eat. He then began to remember the comforts of his father's home. Luke 15 says, but when he came to himself, almost like saying, when he came to his senses and was aware of his sin, he began writing a little speech because he hopes to go back to his dad's house, only to convince his dad to allow him to live as a slave at his former home. That is the mindset that we also sometimes struggle with when we fall that we just can't go back. He can't, he doesn't, he won't love me anymore. Why would he? I'm a sinner. But the very next verse reads, but when he was still a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. He barely got through one line in his speech before his father cuts him off and asks the servants to bring out the best robe and put it on him and put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. He asked that they kill the fattened calf and the next verse reads, and they began to be merry meaning they held a celebration, a party to rejoice at his return. There is little chance that the day before, when he was lying with pigs, cold and hungry, that he could have imagined such a response from his father. That is our Lord Christ's description of our Heavenly Father's attitude towards us. No anger, no revenge, nor punishment, but celebration upon our return. So what message can we take from this passage? Clearly, our Lord Christ is calling us back, just like the Father in this passage. It is without doubt that at some stage in our lives we have all followed the path of the lost son and chosen to follow the world and its pleasures, leaving behind the love and comfort afforded to us by our Heavenly Father. It is also likely that we have chosen to repeat those mistakes time and time again. But here in Lent, the Church selects this passage for us to read so that we may find true repentance and experience and more importantly, accept the love that our Father offers. God continues to wait on us just as the father awaited his son on the balcony. We must change our mindset from that of the older brother who seeks justice for his brother's error, who feels that his brother need not to be celebrated over or even welcomed back, to that of the father who pleads with the older son saying, it was right that we should make merry and be glad for your brother was dead and is now alive and he was lost and is now found. Take this message as a call to return to God no matter how bad you think you have strayed. Don't ever stop yourself from returning to God for fear that He won't accept you. He is always waiting for you and will always welcome you with open arms. So if you find yourself lost or further away from God than you'd like this Lent, come running back. Come running back into His open arms. Come back to Him through your prayers, through true repentance and, th and through fasting and enjoy the feast that He will have awaiting especially for you. Stay tuned for more videos every week. Don't forget to like and subscribe.